All right. Um, this is the moment that I've been waiting for. Not you guys so much, but me for sure. So let me tell you what happened. Um, I had to wait three weeks for the guitar case to come in stock so they could ship the guitar and the case together, the gig bag, because they didn't want to ship them separate. So I waited almost a month, and then it came in, and I went to pick it up, and the customer service guy at UPS said, wow, this box is really light. Do you think there's anything in it? I just kind of joked. I said, well, I don't know how heavy the guitar is. So anyway, I got home. I let it sit for 24 hours and acclimate to the temperature because that's what you're supposed to do. So the wood don't crack or anything. So I was just playing it safe like I had before. And I open up the box and um, it's just the gig bag. No guitar. So uh, long story short, I had to send them photographs of the paperwork, the box, the packing, everything. And a couple days later, they got back to me and said that uh, my guitar would be shipping as soon as possible. So I picked it up yesterday and I've given it 24 hours to acclimate. Plus it was inside at UPS also. It wasn't like it was sitting in a truck somewhere. So anyhow, um, so that's the story on that. And their customer service is second to none, I think. And I already know the quality of their guitars, the acoustics anyway. Um, so anyway, I just want to give you a little rundown for you guitar nerds who might be wondering what it is made out of. So I'll, I'll do that ahead of time. And by the way, the music in the background, if you could hear it, that's Angel Machine. And they are out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, I met Wade in April at uh, Kingdom Come Festival last summer. Uh, beautiful people. Love their music, too. Um, so anyway, this is a, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, because that would just, you know, let the cat out of the bag, so to speak. Um, there is, um, just so you know ahead of time, you can get this guitar with the gig bag. For $275 plus shipping so uh, or you can get the guitar by itself for $249 plus shipping it also has 292 five-star reviews it's one of their top selling guitars um, the top of the guitar is solid spruce the body is maple the neck is maple the fretboard is a uh, ovangle it's an, an African relative of rosewood found in Africa from the Ivory Coast in Ghana to southern Nigeria and Gabon. Gabon. Europeans have long realized the tonal potential of this, and uh, it's great sounding wood that shares many of the rosewood's tonal properties with a slightly fuller mid range and top end. So, the scale of the guitar is uh, 25.5 inches, the nut width is 1.69 inches, it has 20 frets. The fretboard inlays are pearloid squares. The bridge is ovangle. ovangle. The saddle is bone. Uh, the bindings are multiply. It does have a double action truss rod, so if I need to adjust it, adjust the truss rods. Um, for those of you who don't know, it helps with the action, the string distance from the strings to the neck of the guitar. Um, machine heads are... Um, gold-plated Grover die-cast. Strings are anonymous. That's what they put on all their guitars. The pickup system is a Fishman Presys 2 with a built-in tuner and a 9-volt battery, and the color is natural high gloss. And um, Harley Benton has a 30-day money-back guarantee and a three-year Thoman warranty, which is where the guitar was shipped from. T-H-O-M-A-N-N. So, enough of that. Uh, I just thought maybe some of you guitar geeks would want to know all that stuff. So, anyway. I started this video when I picked the guitar up before, and then when I opened it up and saw only the gig bag in it, I was done. That's all I'm going to say. So, it'll take me a little bit to get this open. Grayson's got his own thing going on over there. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> so, packing material, that's always good. 
The box was in perfect condition from UPS, came all the way from Germany, as you might know. So here is the main box that I'm interested in. So it's got a nice, you know, it's not too heavy, but it's not really light. So. When I heard Aaron Holbert's uh, parlor guitar, Aaron Holbert is with um, Night Drive. It's a band out of Cleveland. They're phenomenal. You should look them up. Night Drive is one word. I have a female lead vocalist. She's amazing. Kind of reminds me of Amy Lee from Evanescence. Anyway, the band rocks. And uh, he had a parlor guitar, which this is not. And I just love the quality of it. I never heard of Harley Benton guitars before. And the price was decent. I think that one was about $220, something like that. But you can check the Harley Benton website and find out for yourself. Okay, doggy. Let's see what it looks like. Of course, of course. <laughs> I'm very happy for the packing material because that's always a good thing. Here's the uh, battery and some instructions and the uh, Allen wrench, stuff like that. And hopefully, for those who don't know Harley Benton guitars, like myself, I'm brand new, we'll. Uh, find my YouTube video enlightening if they've ever wondered about Harley Benton. Of course, they have a hundred videos on their website. It's amazing how many. This is a user guide to the Fishman pickup system. All right. It's looking good already. <laughs> it is looking good already. The great reveal, right? I know, I've been waiting. Is that a thing of beauty or what? This is, and I will give you the exact name, it is the Custom Line King CENT Jumbo Acoustic with Fishman Pickup. Isn't that a thing of beauty? My goodness, gorgeous. Love the, this, this guitar looks great. The reviews are really, really good, of course. Um, I've already told you that. And um, you can hear sound samples on their website of all their guitars. And uh, just a little information. I can't read German, but I can read the other side, so that's good. Anyhow, uh, man, <laughs> this is just gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, wow. Man. There's the, don't you love it? Oh, I do, the battery's in the bottom. You don't have to remove the strings or loosen them up to change the battery and the pickup. Phenomenal, I didn't even know that. That was a bonus right there. That was a bonus. So, um, wow. What a beauty, huh? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guitar. My goodness. So um, let me grab a stool over here. I did not uh, play my Dan Electro 12 string when I bought that because it's electric. And um, I didn't bother plugging it in for anybody. I just did the video so you could see what it was all about. So of course it's out of tune. Of course it should be. It flew, it flew over here from Germany. They probably toned it down before they shipped it out, maybe. So. Man, those tuners feel good. I 
I'm not exactly sure the gauge of the strings, but boy, do they feel good. I think they might be uh, light to medium light, maybe. But I'll find out down the road. Um, I think I have an email or something from them because I did ask them about the gauge of the guitar strings. So. that feel good. <laughs> that feels really good. Man. sounds great. For the price, I don't think you can beat it in a jumbo guitar. And uh, like I said, um, I really love the, the sound. Wow, this is nice. I really like the sound of uh, Aaron's parlor guitar. Um, but I wasn't in the market for one yet. <laughs> But anyway, there it is. That is the Harley Benton Jumbo uh, Custom Line King C-E-N-T. I am loving this guitar already. I am so happy with it. It sounds great. It feels great. It's got an onboard tuner and volume, of course, and a phaser, treble, bass, you know, all that stuff. So, man, it's beautiful. So, anyway, other than not getting the guitar the first time they should have shipped it, I'm 100% satisfied. So, uh, I'm not going to plug it in right now because i got other things to do, but I just wanted to do the unboxing and let you see it and uh, hear it. So, all right, thank you so much for joining me, and I will be, uh, well, you'll know when I post it on YouTube, I don't have to tell you that. So, anyway. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.